What's up drone fans and travel photography fans. Today we're gonna take a look at the Beeline F7 GB2 and unbox it. Okay, right, so let's take it out of the box. Comes in a nice shiny box. Here are the specs. Three axis stabilized gimbal, 4K, night scene, and super long remote control for FPV transmission. Then here's the front. Nicely wrapped zip bag here with the manual. A pretty rock solid carrying case. Side mesh pouches for additional storage, batteries. SD cards, travel gear, and then a front pouch as well with a zipper. Uh, nicely padded Velcro here. And then let's take a look at the drone. It does feel a little flimsy. Um, does kind of have a similar design as competitors, DJI, um, the plug is in the back. Then here you can see the 4K camera. This does look like a, feel like a, the protector isn't totally secure. Yeah, see as you can see, this just kind of pops in and out. Uh, has more of a plastic sort of feel on the bottom here. Here's the remote. Yeah, this is very light. It does have more of a plastic feel rather than sort of that uh, robust uh, material, more like a, a toy a bit. And then here you can put your phone to connect to the controller. Here's the battery for charging, as well as additional blades, similar to the Fly More combo. Uh, overall, I would have to give it a test run. Overall, the initial setup and unboxing, the feel of it's good. Um, we'll have to check out the camera quality a bit further in testing, as well as like the usability of the mobile app and remote controller. So here we have both the DJI and the B1 compared. Um, on the left, the DJI definitely has a more sturdy feel, higher quality, um, but also a higher price point. This is very light given the size. And then the remote itself, I do like how small this remote is um, for Beeline. However, um, this just practice, you know, for travel purposes and packing, it feels more sturdy and durable. Um, this feels like a bit hollow and that it could have potential crack, cracking issues and durability issues. But at this price point for a 4K drone, um, it seems great for beginners to try to test uh, their skill and um, at least get high quality footage out of it as well.